Before we try to write any code, and throughout this sort of section of the class, I'm going to put together a bunch of, I'm going to write a scratch program to start, just so we can understand the APIs, and then we'll get to this signature package that I have that will kind of give us the APIs we need for digital signatures. But I, I think if I don't break it down first, it's going to be a little bit harder to, to wrap your head around it. But I mean, let's start with the problem. Let's start with what the problem is, okay? So, so this is going to be our node here, right? Our service is going to be here. Remember, it's managing money, <laughs> managing money. And we're going to have some person over here, some person over here, and they're going to want to say something like, hey, can you send, send uh, $10 to Bill, or maybe this is uh, maybe this is Jerry. So Jerry says, "Hey, I want to send ten dollars to Bill based on the money that I have in my account." And ideally, the node will go ahead and look at the accounting and see that that Jerry has the ten dollars to send to Bill, and and then we'll send that to Bill. There's a whole accounting system that we're going to have to build as well. But just imagine that's there, okay? And then the same thing here. You know, Bill is over here. And this is Bill, and Bill says, hey, you know, I want to send uh, 200 bucks to Jane. And again, it's going to happen. Now, what we want to do from a node perspective, what you want and what the node should want is that we can validate that this is Jerry sending it. We need to know that this is Jerry sending it. We need to know this is Bill sending it. What we don't want is some way of this being Sam saying, hey, I'm Jerry, <laughs> and, and why don't you give Sam some money? Like, this would be really bad, right? If, if somebody could impersonate Jerry, then they could take money out of their account and send it to themselves. This, or we, we can't have that. So what we need is to implement this idea of a digital signature. We need a way of signing the data. In this case, let's call it the transaction that's being sent. So if I just clean this up a little bit here, just to make it more of a visualization, and again, this is Jerry. The idea is that we need Jerry to construct some sort of transaction that represents it's from Jerry, it's to Bill, and I want to give that person n number of dollars, right? So we have a transaction with that information in it. And then what we need is the way for Jerry to sign this transaction, just like if you sign a check. Right? And then at the bank, they can check the signature. They go, OK, yeah, that, that signature matches. Kind of similar, where they can sign the transaction, and then the node gets the transaction and then has, needs a way of checking the signature and saying, yep, yep, for sure, this had to come from Jerry, because Jerry's the only one that could have signed that data with this signature. Same thing here, Bill, get that transaction, the from, the to, the value you want to send, and then we sign it. And then again, we should be able to check that signature. right? So, so we need the ability to do this. Now, in order to do this, what we're going to be using at a high level here is a private, a private, public sort of key environment. The idea here is, Based on the, this transactional data, Jerry should sign that data with his private key, generate a unique signature based on the data and the private key, and then on the node side, should be able to take Jerry's public key and validate that that signature had to come from the private key pair of the public key, right? I mean, we, we do this sorts of things with JSON web tokens, um, and we use private and public keys to do encryption. Here we're doing signatures. And the, the uh, algorithm we're going to be using, ECDSA, that's the algorithm that Ethereum uses to, to do this private public key um, signatures. And, and one of the nice things about the, the algorithm, you can look that one up, uh, ECDSA, is the following. I mean, think about the problem here. <laughs> This is supposed to be an open, distributed system, right? Decentralized and a distributed system. So the node, in order to check the signature, needs the public key. I mean, think about the problem here. This is a decentralized system. Decentralized. 
There's no go create an account and load my public key in it. There's nowhere for the node to even go find your public key. There's no registration. There's no key store. So how is the node supposed to check a signature using your public key when it's not registered anywhere? So this is the cool thing about ECDSA, that this algorithm allows the node to calculate the public key on the fly. So that algorithm is going to allow, I'm going to show you the code that does it, but this algorithm is going to allow us to generate the public key based on this data that we send in. And because at that point we can generate a public key, we can then use that to validate some things. So <laughs> watch this, this is really hard. Because the first time I was doing this, my brain said, okay, this is great, but Again, this is decentralized, no centralized server, there's no centralized key store. How am I going to get the node my public key? Oh, no, no, no. The beauty of this algorithm is that we're going to send the public key over with this uh, transaction, but in a, in a really cool uh, and, and unique way. So I want to write kind of a scratch program that shows you all how that works, and then even go a little deeper into how Ethereum uh, and some of the things Ethereum does when it comes to signing this data and bringing it back out to also make sure that we know that Jerry also meant to talk to our node and maybe not some other node too. Again, we're, we've got to have those sorts of protections in here. So the whole idea here is that Jerry's going to have a private key, Bill's going to have a private key, it's going to be an ECDSA-based private key, and we're going to build um, mechanics so based on the transaction data, we can sign it with the private key, send it over, and then the node's going to be able to extract the public key from that, and then we're going to be able to check that signature and validate this absolutely came from Jerry, this absolutely came from Bill, and we shouldn't have anybody sort of hacking or stealing money from anybody.